A quick thought on the arrest of failed candidate Solomon Pena. All right, first and foremost, props to APD for cracking the case quickly and without incident. The entire community is better today because of their work. But let's peel back to last summer when 2nd Judicial District Judge Joshua Allen ruled that Mr. Pena was eligible to run for office despite a rather troubling criminal history you heard discussed earlier on the show, which included a seven-year prison sentence. It really begs the question I asked earlier of how bad does one have to be to get thrown off the ballot? Now, questioning the constitutionality of the state's rules on barring felons from running for office is a rather dry-eyed look at the issue, it seems to me. One can only wonder how that ruling would have looked if the worst happened as a result of these shootings. Our legislature would be well served if they got after this loophole straight away. The public needs some insurance on the quality of candidates knocking on their front doors.